Hi, welcome back to Leaders Speak at Stories at Work. This is a series where I've been speaking with leaders across industries and fields and asking them to share experiences from their life that has shaped the opinions they hold and the person they are. Today, I'm in conversation with Prakash Ayer. Prakash is the founder of Leadership Works. He's a leadership trainer, a motivational speaker, and an author of three lovely books that I'd highly recommend. One of them, which is on my Kindle, is The Habit of Winning, and the other two are The Secret of Leadership and You Too Can. I asked Prakash uh, to share with us an advice he would give to every youngster, and he said he'd tell people not to wait for things to happen, but make it happen. Just go ahead and do it. So I asked him what experience from his life has crafted or created this opinion that he has or the advice that he just gave. And this is the story he told me. And I remember that in those early days, uh, I would come out of the church gate station and then walk across to Lever House. And I must tell you that I would look very longingly at a building that was a little, a couple of blocks away on the right from Churchgate Station. Uh, and that was All India Radio. Okay. Um, as a kid growing up, one of my dreams was to be a cricket commentator. And I knew the stats uh, at the back of my hand and I could tell you what was happening. I used to watch, I, I had a six month break between school and college where I would go every morning to the Maidans of Mumbai and watch cricket. And I would be sitting there. It would be a, like a time shield match in those days, but it had lots of pretty big India players playing. And I would almost be sitting there and doing commentary to myself. And mm. I could imagine that, hey, this, this is, you know, this is meant for All India Radio. And I was, I should have done that. But I had no clue. How does this happen? And it's almost, it's not like there would be an ad in the paper saying wanted one Prakash Ayer or wanted cricket commentators. And if you're interested, apply. That never happened. And I never really bothered to ask. And I must tell you that there was a man called Suresh Saraya who used to be a commentator, who used to work for Central Bank, which had an office right behind the Hindustan Lever building. So they were back to back. And we would often see him at lunchtime eating a fruit platter on the streets and stuff like that. It never struck me that I could go up to Suresh and say, hey, you know what? I'm interested in being a commentator. What should I do? I never had the guts to go to the All India Radio office and say, hey, I want to do something. What should I do? And I wish I had this. Someone had, would have told me that don't wait for it to happen. Just go there. What's the worst thing that will happen? They'll throw you out. But at least you live the rest of your life knowing that you tried and nothing happened. Uh, and I sometimes think that today when I look at the things I might have done later in my life, um, you know, success comes, I think, because you, you're willing to go out and grab an opportunity and not necessarily wait for opportunity to come knocking on your door. Uh, maybe that's a difference in my, in my thinking or my, a shift in my thinking that I wish I had yeah, at that stage. What a lovely story. And I'm sure you will agree with me that if Prakash had just given us that advice that we should go and grab the opportunities and not wait for it to happen, then you would have nodded and perhaps promptly forgotten. But now that you've heard a story, you're going to remember it for far longer. And this is what any of us can do. You can do it too. Go ahead, think of your experiences and build that story bank. If you like that story, then hop over to our YouTube channel where there are tons of more stories. We have two huge playlists. One is the Leader Speak series, where we've got leaders like Prakash sharing their stories. Then we have the Story Bank series, where I have shared stories that can help you build your story bank. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe because we put in stories every week, two of them, and you'll get an alert when they are there. Thanks for watching and see you next week.